There's nothing like rolling in an F-18, particularly when you're doing it for science. Come on, how great is this job? NASA flies F-18s, F-15s, high-altitude former spy planes, a 747, and even UAVs, all in the name of research. People I have to hire uh, generally are come from a pretty diverse background. Always looking for a broad breadth of experience because I have a broad breadth of airplanes that are here. Pilots at NASA's Southern California Armstrong facility are also responsible for flying the agency's experimental aircraft, which over the decades have done everything from break the sound barrier for the first time through the sound barrier, the first time ever, to flying on electric power. There's a lot of training, and even some hanging around involved before anyone gets into a cockpit. To find out what it takes to become a NASA pilot, I got a crash course from Chief Pilot Nils Larsen. First thing you do is reach up and hit the button that says OP. All right, so now you're flying. Good. So that's pretty good. Go ahead and do that roll or half roll so that we're upside down. There you go. Stop it right about there. Now pull straight back. Nils guided me through NASA's F-18 simulator, which is about as close as you can get to actually flying millions of dollars worth of fighter jets without Roll actually flying. No. Nope. Oh, well. Or crashing. I don't think we're going to survive uh, that one. So I guess you're not recruiting me after all. I was about to ask you for a job. Yeah, you know, everybody crashes on their first time. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. NASA uses F-18s as chase planes when flying experimental craft and for research. It's even used them for testing gear headed to Mars. We were uh, working with uh, Jet Propulsion Lab on the Mars Science Lab, as most people know it as Curiosity, and we helped do some of the testing of the radar elements, and we do little pieces of the reentry profile all the way from just a few degrees nose low all the way to going straight down. Everybody was pretty excited about the project because it was really important because if you don't get this right, you know, you're going to have a pretty expensive hole in the side of Mars. Naturally, Nils had me try a bit of it. Hold the stick, check it forward just a little bit. You can see now you're doing about 60 degrees nose low as we're plummeting at the ground. I am hurtling towards the other. Uh, yeah. I'm on the stick. It's a game okay. of nerves and precision. Uh, pull back so we'll recover. Nils also showed me the finer points of oh, classic right. rolls. As long as you're allowed to do that for the science that you're doing, if you have an airplane that you can roll, you need to do it at least once a flight. Of course, it isn't all fun and aerial maneuvers in the sim. Pilots have to be ready for the worst possible situations, like ejecting from their plane. To prepare, I went over to life support to get outfitted with a flight suit. I feel like Top Gun already. Look good. <laughs> an ejection seat harness and a helmet. Well, I can't hear a thing in this helmet, but apparently, this is most of what I need to be ready to fly. And by fly, I mean being dangled in a parachute simulator. As you can see, you have a partial inversion. So what you want to do is grab the side of the larger lobe on all the risers and yank yourself up on that side of the larger lobe. So is that this side? The That's left? both sides. So right there with both hands, go ahead and reach over to your left side. My virtual parachute was all kinds of fouled up, but with a bit of guidance, I made it through to a safe landing. Hey. So now, I can see my parachute open back up. You have a full parachute, so look down. Oh, this is the ground. So you want to put your knees together, feet together, and point your toes down, and aim to fall on your back rather than your front. Flying a parachute isn't easy. It takes stamina, skill, guts. Landing posture, okay. Gotta have good abs for this, which I don't. Knees together. Oh, collapse. I was actually holding my breath for a bit there. I'm out of breath and I wasn't even moving. But being ready to eject is just part of the training. If you want to streak across the sky in a fighter jet, for science.